welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome if you've never seen my face before then my name's Olivia and I post videos every Saturday and apparently sometimes on Thursday so we'll see how that goes it is currently mental health awareness month in the US and mental health awareness month in the UK so I thought we'd do something a little bit different today sorry if my voice sounds a little bit croaky I'm just gonna drink some tea so I thought we'd do something a little bit different today so I'm gonna have a mental health day today and I'm going to take you guys along with me. Starting off my day with a cup of green tea. Green tea is great for your mental health. It boosts your energy and improves your mood. So it's always good to start your morning with a cup of green tea. Now for a lot of people, a mental health day means staying in bed all day. And for some people that might work, but for the majority of people this will make them feel worse in the long run or even just short term you spend all day in bed and then the next day you don't want to do anything again and you just kind of gradually feel worse and worse so today we're not going to be staying in bed all day unfortunately i'm be starting off my day with some yoga okay i'm ready to go i've got my picnic rug got my lemon water and just in case you're wondering while we're going through We've got Joe the tortoise just down here, he's just having his breakfast. Yoga and meditation are both great for mental health problems. If you start off with anxiety, they're great because they teach you how to breathe properly. And for anyone who suffers with panic attacks, yoga can be massively helpful in just learning how to breathe properly, which can be really beneficial if you are having a panic attack or feel like you're going to have a panic attack if you just kind of open up and breathe better. I know whenever you're having a panic attack, people always tell you to breathe and it just seems like such useless advice at the time. But if you practice yoga and meditation and you learn to breathe properly yourself, then you will find that you can reduce the amount of panic attacks that you're having. Because as you kind of feel that build up, of anxiety you can start bringing in those breathing techniques and start to relax yourself yoga is also great for people who suffer with depression because doing yoga and doing a lot of different forms of exercise increases the serotonin levels in your body and it's also really good for improving your sleep so I'm gonna go and head outside the Sun is shining thankfully so that means I can go and do some yoga in the garden I love getting outside every single day. I'm gonna go for my walk later and I'll talk to you more about that in a bit. The camera cut out just towards the start so I probably won't include any of the footage of it but I will leave the workout that I did linked just up here so if you do wanna go and do the workout that I did then you can go and check it out. I've absolutely been loving all of the videos on the channel so you should definitely check it out if you wanna kind of get some new workouts. Obviously, if you don't want to do exercise, then don't do exercise, you know, just because I'm doing something that makes me feel better and, like, improves my mental health doesn't mean that you should do it too. If you don't want to do yoga, then don't do yoga. I find that when I don't want to exercise, even just doing a little bit will make me feel so much better. Um, but obviously, if you don't want to do exercise, then it's up to you. I'm not going to tell you to do exercise if you really don't want to. So I'm going to go have a shower, get changed, have some breakfast. If you want to know what I am going to be eating today, there will be a video going up on Saturday which will be kind of like what I eat in a day to improve my mental health. So if you're interested in what kinds of foods you can be eating to improve your mental health then you should definitely go and check that one out. If you're not subscribed already then go down and hit the subscribe button and then you can find out when that video actually goes up. I think I'm just going to eat my breakfast and do my jigsaw. I've absolutely been loving these jigsaws while I've been in lockdown. Obviously if you don't like jigsaws then don't do jigsaws. I will also leave the links for the workout and the yoga lesson that I did. Yeah, it wasn't really a lesson. But I'll leave those in the description box and I will also put in some kind of like useful websites. If you feel like your mental health has been worse throughout lockdown then just know that you're not alone. But if you do feel like you need to speak to someone, I will put some links in the description box and I will also put some numbers, some useful numbers that you can call if you need someone to talk to and you feel like you can't talk to your friends. A lot of people's friends will always be there for them, but it can be so hard to actually reach out and get that help in the first place. 
especially talking to people that you know sometimes it helps to talk to people who you don't know and my dms are always open my instagram will be linked in the description box and i'm always happy to hear from people if you want to talk to me about anything then my dms will always be open for you so this is where we're up to the current puzzle it's looking pretty good it's a great wall of china in case you can't tell make sure you give your pets lots and lots of extra cuddles you might notice that this is a different cat to the one that's in my intro this is jasper and the cat in my intro is sherlock i have another cat and he is called charlie but he just is probably off chilling in a neighbor's garden enjoying the sunshine but pets are great for improving your mental health just give them a big cuddle so I've just been sat here doing some colouring, I'm doing some colouring in my Harry Potter colouring book and I've been watching 10 Things I Hate About You which is one of my favourite films and I just think it's such a feel good film and if you're like me and you just can't watch a film without doing something else then I would really recommend colouring rather than like being on your phone all the time because in lockdown especially I've just been spending way too much time on my phone. The film's just ended and we're going out for a walk pretty soon. So I'll take you along on the walk, but before that I'm just going to go and check on my plants in the greenhouse. Because in case you can't tell, I love my plants, they're like my children. So we're going to go and see those. This is one of my sunflowers that I've been growing from a seed, it's looking pretty big now. Oh, nearly fell over. What a cutie. I can't wait till these guys flower. It's now time for pretty much my favourite time of every day. It's time for my daily walk. And it might seem sad that it's one of my favourite things from every single day, but I think there's only been two days during lockdown when I didn't manage to get out of the house and didn't go on a walk and I just felt so much worse and every day going out for a walk i just feel so much better within minutes of going for a walk i think if there's someone you can go on a walk with in your household then take them with you or if there isn't someone then just listen to music listen to podcasts after i went on the walk i did also have a zoom quiz with some of my friends so my final tip is to stay connected with your friends with your family with everyone who you love and talk to them we're all going through the same thing and they will understand if you are struggling thanks for watching i will see you on saturday <laughs> <laughs>